Welcome to the 10th episode of the Middleborough High School Construction Project video. It's been exactly a year since we started this video series and a tremendous amount of work is taking place here on site. The building is largely up. We're proceeding around the building with brick and a lot of the windows and curtain walls are being constructed. We're looking at the west side of the C section of the building. The brickwork is in process. The brick will go up to the top of the second floor. From there up, the building will be clad in steel panels. The accent stripes in the brick are precast concrete lintels. This is a close-up view of the windows on the building. There are individual window units that are installed into the brick frames. And then the larger areas are covered by aluminum and glass curtain wall systems. They're both installed by the same company. We're standing in the student commons, which is also the cafeteria of the school, right next to the rotunda. Construction in the student commons presently consists of light gauge metal framing and sheetrock. The columns are being wrapped and utilities are being run in the ceiling, including sprinkler piping and HVAC ductwork. Lots of materials for the project are staged here because it's one of the larger open places. The work in the rotunda has progressed quite a bit. Almost all of the light gauge metal framing is in place and the sheetrock work is moving ahead. You can begin to see where the finishes will be in this central space. The administrative suite is taking shape. The vice principal's offices and the principal's offices are all framed up and sheetrocked. The uh, working areas and conference rooms in this area are also in progress. This is a typical collaboration space, which is a confluence of corridors and classrooms, which is under construction here on the second floor. Open spaces like this in the building are used to stage materials that will be used in construction. Most of the walls in this area have been constructed and a lot of the windows and doors installed. We're almost ready for ceiling work and floors. This is a typical classroom on the second floor. They're slightly larger than the rooms in the existing building. They have large window units. Each room has its own HVAC unit. This room is already wired for electricity and technology. 
I'm standing in front of the entrance to stairwell number two. Stairwell two is very useful because it goes all the way to the roof. Once this stairwell is complete, we'll be able to take down the exterior access stair and finish up the brick on that side of the building. We're standing at the upper level of the auditorium at the top of the step seating. The concrete for the step seating was poured last week and that's ready to go. All they have to do is pour in the steps that actually create the aisles. This is just the back half of the auditorium. On the other side of that top is probably another two-thirds of the space before you get to the stage. This upper level of the auditorium also includes a state-of-the-art control room where all the audio, visual, and lighting features for the auditorium will be controlled. This is the main volume of the auditorium, looking toward the stage. The roof framing is nearly complete. The catwalks are in place to access spotlights and audiovisual materials. This is a mechanical space on the second floor of Section B of the building. It contains three boilers, two large water heaters, and some circulation equipment that will heat the building. This is the fitness and weight room, which is on the second floor of the B building, right next to the gymnasium. The wall behind me is all glass, and you'll be able to look from here down into the gymnasium. This room has an extra high ceiling so that the cheerleading team can do their routines in here. We're standing inside the Black Box Theater, which is a new space for the school, really. It's actually designed as a theater, but could also be used as a lecture hall for a secondary purpose.
We're here looking at the restroom and concession building out by the stadium. The exterior of the building is nearly complete. The roof is on, the exterior brickwork's done, and now they're working on the interior plumbing and masonry work. The building contains restrooms to serve all the athletic fields and the stadium, and has a concession stand ticket counter for admission to the game. This is a view of the stadium bleachers. The bleacher seating is all out of aluminum. The frame underneath is structural steel. The scoreboard for the stadium contains advanced video and audio components so that you'll be able to see replays of the game and other video features. A couple of weeks ago, the uh, press box arrived and that was installed and uh, the bleachers are pretty much ready for use except for being connected to the rest of the campus and uh, certain handicapped accessibility requirements. Despite the advent of the recent epidemic, the Middleborough High School project has been able to continue. The governor issued guidelines which makes this project exempt. That doesn't mean there aren't constraints that are put on it or that it might not have effect on the ultimate schedule of the project. The contractor for the project has been very proactive. He's been meeting with subcontractors and his professional organization, AGC, for guidelines with respect to how the project can go forward safely. The contractor has installed hand wash stations and also installed negative air pressure ventilation equipment. All the subcontractors on the site have been briefed and an ongoing education program is taking place. Everyone on site is cognizant of maintaining space between workers and the building has been ventilated with opening tarps for fresh air. The Massachusetts School Building Authority has been involved in the process and is carefully monitoring the project. All of the subcontractors have been instructed that their employees have to be checked and no one exhibiting any symptoms will be allowed on site. Some workers are opting to stay home, but for the most part, the project has moved ahead with 100 people on site spread out over the 42-acre site and progress is being made. All our meetings are being held remotely and construction supervision is down to a minimum at the moment with Compass Project Management, DRA, and Fontaine maintaining people here in supervision capacities. Thank you for joining us on this 10th episode of the Middleborough High School Project video series. We'll see you again in April. <laughs>